Hey there YouTube, Arbonus69 here and today we're going to have a look at a fun little print I've done on my printer for winter. This is a mini bob that I found on Thingiverse by a user called Dakansler. Sorry, disclaimer, if I've butchered your name I am absolutely useless with names. Anyway, let's jump over to Thingiverse and have a look at this model. So here we are in Thingiverse and this is the retro mini bob unleashed by Dakansler. So as you can see He's got uh, pictures of it here um, in multiple colours and underneath is a quick breakdown of all the parts and how to assemble it. So these are the Thingiverse files, there's the base, there's a seal for want of a better word, uh, the top of the bob, top of the bob without a shield on the front, this one does have space for a shield I believe. Um, there is the cowling for the top of the um, bob sled, a user and some goggles. And last but not least these are the shield parts. So it's in multiple parts, making it very, very easy to print. And once you've done, he's got uh, an example of the parts printed off. So that's the top and the seal. There's the bottom part. And there we are, parts put together. And there we are. So you can get an idea, and then finally assembled. So this is what I decided to uh, download and print. So let's have a quick time lapse because everyone loves a time lapse of the actual printer. So here are all the parts that have been printed. Now I printed mine at 0.2mm uh, layer height as I wanted this to run fairly quickly, I didn't want to waste ages for this. So we have the four little men, four sets of glasses, we have the base, the top of the sled, the seal part and the, uh, the cowling etc. The only thing that I have done to this model 
is on the base of here I've sanded this because as you can see it is in layers I'm presuming this is to help it run in the snow but I've sanded the edges down a little bit so it's a little bit smoother other than that nothing else has been done to this model I haven't even tried to assemble any of it yet now the original instructions call for screws I'm going to go for Gorilla Glue and uh, these are the fishing weights that I bought off eBay um, if you just search for fishing sinkers you can find these um, all over the place they're fairly cheap to buy and these are the weights that are going to sit inside each of these little housings so let's make a start by putting the weight into the base so we'll go with one kilogram for the front oops as we want the front to run a little bit faster let me get some more in there and if we can I think that's all we're going to get in that one don't think that one will go in will that still fit on? Nope, so it's got to be flush. So we'll fill up the rest of the compartments now. So that was one kilogram used, 0.6. We'll go down to 0.4. Fill up that. See if this fits on the top still. Yep. Move down another weight. There we are, and we'll use the tiniest ones and just fill up spaces. There we are. That is all filled. That is now empty. And that seems to fit, I think. I don't know what it seems a bit high at the back here. Let's try that. Yep, that fits. Right. So, moment of truth. Let's see if the seal fits inside this groove. Like a glove. Perfect. Well, that obviously means the tolerances on my printer are fairly decent. So, let's get the glue. And I will try not to stick my fingers together. Let's see. I don't want to use too much. Oops. Let's use a pin to spread this about a bit. On this side, there we Come on, glue. Whoop! <laughs> a bit of a pin, and we'll just. And have a little bit on this seal. Right. 
Let's see if we can get the two halves together. There we go. That is now fairly weighty. <laughs> so, um, should we do the cowling or the figures first? Um, I think we'll pop a little bit of glue inside these holes that seem to marry up with these bits. Right, we shall pop this on here. Like that. There we are. Right, let's see how well the glasses fit. These should be a push fit. On the side there is a, a little indent at the side of the glasses, or where the glasses fit. So let's see. Yep, they're quite a tight snug fit. I don't think I'll bother gluing those on. Oops. That one's a very tight fit. Okay, that one may need a little bit of sanding. A few moments later. Right. I'll just sand down in here a little bit. on the back of them a little bit. And the top just to make sure. Right, let's try again. Oops, there's a bit hanging off the bottom. They fit much better now. There we are. So that's all for men with glasses on now. Um, now then, it's going to be the best way to do this. I think if I pop a little bit of glue on each of the four pegs at the top, and we'll see about push fitting the men on those. Let's see. One. Come on. Three and that was a little bit too much there. <laughs> Four. So let's see. One. Two. Three. Just stringing on that one. And finally, number 
four. There we are. One bob said, assembled, quite wordy, and ready for snow. That was a very, very, very good model. Um, everything was a beautiful push fit. Nothing was too hard to fit together. That was very, very well designed, so thumbs up to uh, the designer on that one. That is the bobsled. Now all I need to do is wait for the glue to eventually dry, and that'll be good to go. Also, not forgetting we need to wait for snow as well, as we live in the UK and we don't get snow very often. So there we are, that is the Mini Bob fully printed and fully assembled from Thingiverse. Excellent model, well done. Do me a favor, if you enjoyed this video, please smack the thumbs up or the thumbs down button, but please leave some comments below and let me know what you thought of the video. And also, if you can mash the subscribe button, subscribe to the channel, helps out immensely. Until next time, take care.